from the Scripps Studios, this is 10 News. Happening now, an emotional celebration of life for a teenage girl killed in a hit and run. And the family gathering to grieve on the same day the man accused of killing her faced a judge for the first time. Steve joins us live on this story. And Steve, their South Bay community is now filled with sorrow. It is standing room only here at the Glen Abbey Mortuary in Benita. A heartbreaking day for hundreds of people. An outpouring of love for Leilani to share to share their loss. Last week, an emotional candlelight vigil for the 17-year-old jogger who was killed when a hit-and-run driver veered onto the sidewalk and struck her. Her family is still in shock. An athlete and honor student about to leave for UC Irvine and pre-med. She wanted to become a doctor. She was such a wonderful little girl. As soon as she was able to, she took her um, CPR and first aid training. I was her instructor for CPR and first aid. I mean, she cared about others. George Espinosa, whose face was ordered electronically blurred during the arraignment, is charged with felony hit and run and misdemeanor involuntary vehicular manslaughter. He could go to prison for five years if convicted. A tennis coach and instructor at Modern Day Catholic High School and East Lake Country Club, Espinosa visibly wept as his attorney told the court of 15 letters written to the judge vouching for his character. The family of the victim wasn't moved. If he had been sincere, like he wouldn't have run away and take a whole day to turn himself in. Since Espinosa left the scene and didn't surrender until the next day, there are questions about possible impairment while driving. The DA said detectives are still investigating. Hit and run resulting in death as well as the involuntary manslaughter. Of course, if anything comes out during the course of the ongoing investigation, we will amend the charges accordingly. Judge Kerry Katz doubled the bail to $100,000 and ordered that Espinosa remain under house arrest if he does make bail and no driving. Mourners are welcome here until 9 o'clock tonight. Uh, Espinosa is due back in court a week from tomorrow, which would have been Leilani's 18th birthday. Live in Benita, Steve Fiorina, 10 minutes. Such a sad outcome. Thank you, Steve. New development.